Hello ladies and metal chain and welcome to the Indian Panzer review, the tier 8 German uh, medium tank. So is this tank any good? Yeah it's alright, I would rank this in the top half of the tier 8 medium tanks. It's pretty good, the gun is good, it got buffed recently as well so the aim time is now lower and the reload is faster. But first of all let's look into the armor. So. Frontal plate, 90. It's not sloped like ridiculously well, but you can get some nice bounces on this tank. The gun depression is pretty good, so if you use that and go hull down, or even not hull down, you can angle this quite quite well. And if you're angled, your hull is gonna bounce the KONS, the 175 penetration guns, quite reliably. But uh, the turret, however, is not that strong. The gun mantlet is alright, but even that is not good enough to bounce like it is not reliable enough. I mean, it can bounce a lot of shots. It can bounce like tier 10s as well, but at the same time, it can get bent by KU1S. And wherever there isn't a gun mantlet like this machine gun port and all that, it's not very thick at all. I mean, this these parts are alright. I mean, 200, but it's all because of angling. The closer you get to a flat armor, the weaker the armor gets. But whenever you get something flat, like that machine gun port is really thin. 90 armor, you can bend that with like a tier 5 or whatever. On the other side, the same kind of sight. It's not bad, as you see. The armor has quite a lot of 200 plus spots, but uh, at the same time, you get some 160 spots. So the armor is not reliable, and the cupola is also not helping. Side armor, 960 side armor, not angled at all, so do not expect any bounces. And side scraping is not recommended because the turret is mounted at the front as well. And that's everything there is to say about the armor. Let's look into the soft stats real quick, comparing it to a T44 as always. So maneuverability and the aiming circle spread. Uh, first of all, the aiming circle spread, as you can see, it's not actually that bad. Comparing it to a T44 that has fast aiming, low pen gun. This is actually keeping up uh, in most regards. In, in, like on the full speed traversing, uh, the aiming circle is much better. Probably because the traverse is much worse, but uh, full speed moving the uh, it's worse, and on full speed traverse, vehicle full speed traversing, it's also better. So it's pretty good, pretty good, and the damage gun is also the same. Mobility wise, uh, turn resistance is worse than on the T44, but that's to be expected. And the power to weight ratio is worse as well. Uh, the stand does not feel very agile. It, it is more agile than the Panther II. That is something we could mention. We can uh, compare it actually to the Panther II. So, yeah, comparing it to Panther 2, it's more has more power to weight and way way worse. Well, not way worse, but worse uh, softer uh, terrain resistance. But still, it's more agile than the Panther, just because this is quite a lot of big difference, and these do not make up for it. So yeah, that's the Indian Panzer in the soft stats. Let's get into the replay. So, so here we go, playing on Kamarin top tier two RDs. Pretty good matchmaking for me, and. One important thing before we get into the stats, whenever you spawn a Kamarin, if you're top tier, middle is where you need to go. I cannot stress enough how important the middle of this map is. Other flanks can be easily defended from the middle, and if you take the middle, 90% of the time you will win the game. Since that's out of the way, let's look into the stats. 1300 hit points, which is not a lot, uh, compared to like a Panther 2, which has 1500, but it's below average, but it's not that bad. 50 km top speed limit forwards, also not bad. 20 km backwards, also not bad. Engine power 630, horsepower pretty bad engine, but the tank is quite light, so the horsepower to tone ratio is pretty damn good. Traverse speed 38 degrees, which is actually decent. And uh, what else there is to note here? It's a diesel engine, so chance to catch on fire is only 12%, and the engine is in the back. So no frontal fires, not like on the Panther 2. View range 380, pretty bad, but still on a medium tank I would go for optics. Uh, so the gun, the gun is actually really nice on this tank. 8.33 rounds per minute, which gives this gun the second best DPM, I'm pretty sure, at tier 8. If I'm wrong, correct me, but I'm pretty sure the only other tank that has higher DPM than this is the Object 416, which has ridiculous DPM that I don't even want to talk about. But this tank is more uh, flexible, so I guess it wakes up for it. But that's, yeah, that's a uh, rate of fire obviously with standard volumes, no rammers and so on, so it's even better. Accuracy 0.34, which is also really nice, and uh, aiming time 2.7, which is really, really not that good, but it's good enough to work with a 10. 
Another sweet spot, minus 10 gun depression, really really nice, plus 20 uh, elevation as well is not bad. So yeah, the gun on this tank is really nice and uh, you might wonder here, why did I not kill that Tiger, tiger 1? I had a chance, but the thing uh, what I was thinking here is how to not get hit by Artie and I shot the Tiger twice and then I decided, you know what, I'm gonna get killed if I do keep peeking out here, so I decided to wait till the clock reached 13 minutes and then I went out. It didn't matter that I kill or didn't kill him or didn't even shoot him, but the fact that mattered is that I didn't get shot back by Artie, which is the thing I wanted to avoid because that's the only way you lose a health here, so I really did not want to do that and unlucky shot into the low, but the penetration on this gun is also nice. It's not the 88mm uh, gun that Germans typically get. This is a 90mm, so it's more similar to the uh, guns that French tanks get more like the gun on the FCM 50T which means the penetration is around 212 and uh, the average damage is the same as on the Panther 2 which is 240. So equipment I would use on this uh, has to be a uh, rammer, vert stabs and coated optics, the typical medium tank uh, lineup. The gun you might consider like gun lane drive, but the thing about this tank is not very... It doesn't accelerate really well, I mean it's alright, but it, it's not like this tank is really maneuverable, which makes the gun not feel as bad as it should. And the soft stats on the gun on turning the turret and turning the hull is, are not that bad, so the tank aims alright, It's not. it doesn't need that. As you can see, the tank, it could benefit from gun lane drive, but I think the optics are more important than uh, gun lane drive. And ventilation I just don't believe in. The stock rhino did depends is pretty bad, the stock gun is quite awful, uh, the short 88 with the 132 penetration, at least that gun has a really high rate of fire, so the DPM on that gun is actually better than on the top gun, not that it really matters if your penetration is like um, fucking 130, but then again you can load some gold if you need to, and then the penetration is gonna climb up to 175, which is actually uh, like reasonable enough to play with it. And for crew skills, uh, 6 cents repairs, obviously really important, but uh, since this is tier 8, it's not uh, likely that you'll keep this as your main uh, tank for this crew, so if you go for the Leopard's camo skill is also really important, and smooth ride snapshot, uh, safe storage is really important. This tank has ammo marks in front as well in the hull, so try to stay hull down whenever possible, and you won't have issues with your ammo rank, which is quite important. Now, our team pushed into the enemy base, at least tried to for god knows what reasons, but they failed and I didn't really have good support shots, so I didn't really do much there either. Then again, uh, now we're slightly boned, but still, the middle of this map is so important that we still have a chance. As long as we have the middle, we have the chance in this game, as simple as that. And we still have two scumbags that could easily seal the deal with some one shots or some lucky penetrations or lucky shots in general. So, the game is nowhere near over yet. Uh, as you can see, I don't have 6 cents. I got spotted there, got shot in the face and didn't even know that I was spotted. And there we go, a scumbag kills an India Panzer one shot. I mean, that is so important for us now. So now I need to deal with this uh, outclaring Panther, especially if, he's, if he pushes in. I'm gonna put, put one shot into his side. Now the Panther 2 is behind me, this is not gonna work. I need to drop, I'll shoot the India Panzer before because I know I have time to do so and set him on fire, drop down, and now from this position the Panther 2 cannot harm me, the Arty can't really harm me either, and I might be able to get the, pan the Outflying Panther if he's reckless, and he is, and that is that was a good result for me to kill the Outflyings, but the, the rest of our team just died, so it's only me and the two scumbags. Now the biggest issue here is the T-34 that is on my flank, I need to stay in cover from him and from the enemy Arty, and in the, I need to deal with this Panther 2 as well. So I will probably need some help from the Audi, especially if the T-34 goes for them. One of them has to kill him or we're probably going to lose this game. And uh, since he has like 60 health, it shouldn't be uh, that hard for the Audi to deal with him. He kills one of us, uh, one of the Audis and then the other one takes care of him. So that is a good, really good result for us. And now it's only the Panther and T-34-3. They both drop behind me. I don't know what is this play, but this guy clearly did not have a fucking a goal in his life, so he dies, and now it's only me against this panther, I'm an arty cover, he is not, use his repair kit if he wants to, and he does, so that is a good result for me, you know, spending his repair kit on that shot. Now, side scraping panther is quite easy to paint, you just aim at the flat parts of the turret, 
I pan him, he misses. I have the first shot once again. Flat part of the turn. One more shot. He shot fires into the bridge and I have another free shot. And this panther is getting wrecked now. And I already saves the enemy panther for total humiliation. So it's only me uh, and my arty versus the enemy two arties. This game still is not one because one arty shot could end my day. So I still need to be cautious. I really don't want to crush these tank traps because if I do, I'm probably gonna get uh, wrecked by some blind shots or something. So I'm gonna go, gonna go this way and see what happens. General guidelines for playing in the Panzer is obviously stay held down, use your gun depression. And if you get shot, make sure that you put two shots into your enemy. You have the reload for it, and if you do that, you're going to be quite successful. And every time your enemy fires, you should try to put two shots into him because you can, because your reload is as fast as uh, your reload is going to be probably faster than whoever is shooting at you if it's like tier eight with the uh, top gun or whatever. Now sneaking up to try to spot the enemy already. If I don't get spotted, I don't really want to fire. I want already to take out the first one, so. There he is, and let's see if he has spotted me. I don't have six cents, but since his gun is not turning, so he's not reacting. Even though he's a bad player, even the bots react to players when they get spotted. This guy definitely hasn't spotted me. I'm not gonna fire, I'm gonna wait for Arty to kill him. But the enemy, other Arty gets spotted behind me, so I need to take care of this one, since Arty might die reasonably quickly. And now this one is trying to aim at me, but it's gonna be too late. Maybe the correct order of things would be to shoot this one first, but I still have the time. Aim as much as I can, take the shot, get lucky, and get the kill. So here's the end plate. Ace tanker, pretty sure that's a master gunner talking or whatever. Uh, 6,069 experience, if you know what I mean. High caliber, 1,165 damage assisted, 3,764 damage done, and 5 kills. Experience obviously is uh, times 3 with the event, and the basic speed is 1,349. Rest of the team, apart from the KV4 and that one Arty that landed a lot of really important shots, didn't really do that much. But yeah, the Indian Panzer, combination of high rate of fire, uh, good gun depression, is pretty nice here. The tank is not very agile, but you can get around with it. I, I kind of like it. I would rank it top 50% for sure, and maybe even like top 30% uh, of the tier 8 mediums. So yeah, that was my thoughts on the India Panzer. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you on the next one.